Hey there, Dressage Hub fans and haters. I know you guys are watching too, and I couldn't do this without you. So, uh, hashtag haters make me viral. We have another letter. Yay, you guys know how much I love getting letters. Um, now, I'm going to ask you to bear with me. This video is going to be a little bit jumpy and all over the place. And the other part of that is, um, I don't, it, partly because I don't, I, I just, can somebody, when they like go to write a letter in an organization, whether it's a lawyer, like run this past like a stupid committee? Can like we start a stupid committee? Because like this letter, Youssef is probably going to send me a letter for talking about this letter. That's going to be fun. Uh, here we are. So we have this letter, and I know some of you are dying to know what it says. Uh, I've been charged, but here let's just take a step back for a second. This letter actually affects everybody on the internet, whether you're in the UK or Australia or Africa or Canada or whatever. Um, I am, as most of you know, a Canadian, as of now, um, non-rider. <laughs> non-member, not now, nor, nor have I ever been a member of USEF. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, the guidelines for uh, safe sport, I haven't gone through safe sport training, uh, none of the, nothing to do with USEF applies to me in any shape or way or form. It's like taking a football player in that had something to say about horses and um, sending them in this letter. That's how ridiculous this letter is. So here's the thing is whether you love to bash me or love to love me, this affects you because sir, as of this point, this letter right now, I can just go in on a manhunt and anybody who ever says anything on the internet that I don't like about me, I can actually file charges with you, for you, and about you with Yousef. And I think that as an organiza organization, it's a slippery slope. So that's where we're at today. And uh, I would love to go spend two days at Yousef. I have screenshots of so much stuff. Of the, of the top riders, I've got Heather Blitz making bullshit about me. I've got Ashley Holzer coming after my, after my clients. I have, uh, I, there's so many of them. I mean, I, it, there's like the, an entire hate group uh, designed <laughs> to bully me. Let's talk about all the USEF members in this group. Uh, Let's, I, I actually, when I looked over this stuff, I actually complained to them about Lauren Kanarik back in February when they first reached out to me. So, uh, I, I, and, and here we are. And so, hot topics for Youssef in 2019. We have attempted murder, Rob Gage's suicide, uh, George Morris sexually molesting young people, and we have <laughs> Dressage Hub. Yeah, so I feel like I'm probably not their biggest concern right now, and nor should I ever be. Uh, as a YouTuber, uh, it's a platform to have a voice. In other sports, they discuss sports, and that's exactly what I do here on Dressage Hub. Whether I see bias judging or um, bullshit within the industry, I, I'm, a, I'm happy to call people out on it, and that's really it. And so... A few years ago, when they told me I could no longer film at, um, at uh, Global, it emancipated me. It gave me my voice back, which I was more than happy to have. So for those of you who think that I was banned for being a horrible person, let's just note that I never posted a bad video of any single rider prior to being banned. If Yousef wants to control what I have to say, they should have given me press credentials, given me criteria of what I can and can't say. As of 2014, 15, whenever they banned me, they emancipated me and gave me my voice. I am allowed to say what needs to be said about this sport as a YouTuber, whether they like it or not, and they have zero control over me as a Canadian um, non-rider, non-member. Here we are. We're going to bounce around a little bit. Uh, here is what they have charged me with. It is Chapter 7, GR 702.1D and 702.1 in the Federation she, in of this federation, when she engaged in unsportsmanlike and harassing conduct by repeatedly posting humility and annoying, offensive, isn't everything on the internet annoying and offensive, hostile and unprofessional comments on her personal social media account, as well as the group account, which, uh, regarding USEF members, including licensed officials. Uh, additionally, after writing a written warning from Youssef, uh, the conduct persisted. I don't have a written warning. So I went back to um, 
what they're referencing. I did actually ask them, I want to show you my response to this letter. Like I said, this is going to jump all over a little bit for a second. You have to bear with me. So my response to this letter was, Hi, Emily, just a few quick questions for you. Can you please tell me what was posted that you find offensive and unprofessional? So again, this letter is really ambiguous, and I have no idea actually what I'm, I'm left to guess. And I'm going to show you my best guess, but I don't actually know. Uh, can you please send me a copy of the written warning I allegedly received? I got an email asking to take a video down, and when I asked for further clarification upon which the thousands of videos I have, there was no response from your organization. Three, as a Canadian non-rider currently in Europe and a non-USEF member, I'm a bit surprised to see USEF taking on the role of policing everyone on the internet. Since I have never participated in safe sport training required by the members of USEF, I am sure unsure as how, to, how these rules apply to me, and if you will be applying these rules to every single person on the internet regardless of membership. No response. Crickets. Okay. Uh, while I was laying on a beach in Mallorca, uh, that was as good as it was going to get. I mean, I'm not going to do much further. So now that I'm back and wrangling a hurricane, here I am. So let's talk about uh, what the charge is. So hang on. I've got the charge up here. Let me open that page for you. So uh, 701D, it's... Uh, Right here, it's acting or inciting or permitting or any other act in manner contrary to the rules of the Federation or in a manner deemed improper, unethical, dishonest, unsportsmanlike, intemperate, or prejudicial to the best interests of the sport and Federation. Okay, that is the entirety of cough. If you have never been to Chronicle of the Horse Forums, that is the entire purpose of the Chronicle of the Horse Forums. So if we're going to do this, let's go take down cough. There's hundreds of pages of people discussing my life in cough, and about 5% of it is correct, like the fact that I'm Canadian. Uh, I actually, to those haters that are watching this, you're going to have to up your ante for 2020 because like, I read the 2019 season of my life, and it was a little bit like you guys needed new writers. You're like Game of thrones it. So like, you're kind of going to go off air. So can you step up the ante? But like, yeah, it was, it was good to catch up this summer. Um, it just, okay. Let's, uh, so, uh, like, really, are they going to police the internet? And honestly, like, if, if we're going to go down this rabbit hole, I will go up there and I will spend a week filling out every form for every person who's ever said anything unethical, dishonest, unsportsmanlike, or intemperate on the internet about me. Sorry, guys. They open the can of worms. I'm going down the rabbit hole if this is the way we need to go. So, uh, okay, so let's go back to the warning letter I supposedly got. So let's uh, open that up here. So this one was under safe sport. I don't think the new one is, which I thought was also very interesting. Yeah, so this one came as a federation file number. The other one came as safe sport. So I think actually I've reached out to safe sport and I'm waiting for a response. Uh, but I, I don't actually think this falls under safe sport, which is also interesting. Okay, so they asked me to take down this video under safe sport, and when I responded to them, I actually asked them which video. No response. Crickets. They actually responded and said we'd be happy to discuss this with you over the phone, which to me means they have nothing. Uh, and the video that they asked me to take down, or I'm assuming was the video that they were upset about, was this one over a Canadian rider. Now, the funny thing is, when I posted this, you guys were all upset that I, like, bashed a pregnant rider, like, you know, whatever. What you guys missed was this post was actually about shitty, biased judging. <laughs> because she was pregnant, they gave her a really high score. Now, I watch these horses and riders every week and have watched these horses and riders very closely every week for seven years. I know their weaknesses. I know their strengths. and I'm allowed to discuss sports like any other sports talk radio. And when I say the judging was biased and overscored and shitty on this ride, I actually meant that. So because she was pregnant, they overscored her. Judging bias exists. Let's talk about it. Let's not pretend that these judges are saints. I mean, Janet Foy has gone out of a, on her limb, like on her Facebook page, publicly bashing me. Do you think that I can ride down center line and actually think that she's going to score me fairly? Do you really? Because I don't. I would never, even if I competed again, ride down center line for that woman. Like, they were just, like, I, like that's career ending for me. Like, I'm, like, why? 
what? If she is publicly and openly bashing me as a person, um, which I think is against her ethics, so again, where's Yousef on that? Uh, she's judging bias in Pan Ams. I called her out on it. She put herself back in line, which qualified the Canadians for a team. Let's talk about judging bias and the impact on the, per, the global perspective of it. Like, I just don't understand why we can't talk about stuff like that. Like, that's the whole point of sports talk and sports discussion. Like, let's really, you know, call people out on their shit when they're not doing shit right. Like, what's wrong with that? Um, so that's that piece. Let's talk about, okay, let's move on to what I think happened. So I was at the European Championships last week, and um, it was amazing. Honestly, it made Wellington look like child's play. Like, it was, I, if you ever get a chance to go, go, because it was, um, it was incredible. Uh, so Charlotte Dujardin was eliminated for blood, and I've watched, actually, riders come out of the ring in Wellington with blood, and they pretend to not see it. So um, the fact that the steward had the balls to eliminate her says a lot about that person. Either and they know their career is done. So um, <laughs> it, like the, this is one of those things. Like they, um, this person ended their career. They'll never work again. When you take out an untouchable, that person is done. And I, I, I'm with you guys. When I would love to think that this sport is ethical. It is not. That person um, basically ended up committing career suicide, which was a play on words also because for those of you who in the U.S. know that Epstein, um, it was the same timing. He has the Lolita Express where rich dudes go and sleep with underage children on an island, and he was on suicide watch and accidentally committed suicide. So if this was kind of a like fun, light-hearted twist on both of those things. And the USF director of sport came at me saying that I need to take that down, and Charlotte was not blaming the TD. I know that Charlotte is not blaming the TD, but I do know that that TD will never work again as a TD. So, um, and again, when you speak up against anything in the sport, you get letters. <laughs> or you get unemployed. So, to further my point about what this was saying, it's exactly that. So, uh, the USF director of sport, Will Connolly, sent me a message saying I need to take it down. It's rude, disrespectful, um, and has um, is, is mean towards anybody with mental health. And uh, so he came after me, and I said, um, rather than creeping my page under the guise of a moral compass, like maybe you should just go away. So I think that was this is him. This letter is him trying to flex his muscle and try to shut me down, which they do every once in a while. So uh, here we are. Here's my rights as a member. <laughs> What are my rights as a non-member? <laughs> um, so I think the letter goes on to state that I had seven days to respond. I responded within the seven days. Didn't hear back. Any communication is supposed to be CC'd. Um, now it goes to somebody for a decision or a hearing. If there is a hearing, sorry guys, I'm getting parched. Um, if there is a hearing, you guys are all invited because it's anybody who's witnessed any of the behavior, which means you've all witnessed it. <laughs> so if you love me or hate me, we're going to have a party. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I don't, I, I think this is a slippery slope. And I think that as all equestrians, I think this is something that we need to like discuss and understand and whether you love me or hate me, like I said, this is really not about that at this point. It's about the fact that we are trying to police the internet and it's not the right way to go. I think there's a better way to, to go about this. Um, and this isn't it. I mean, if, if Yousef really wanted to control what I have to say, this isn't the direction to go. They should have kept my press passes and made criteria for me. And since they've made that decision not to, that um, emancipated my voice, and I speak for a rider, a rider who's passionate about horses and riding, and not the bullshit. And the reason I walked away was because of the bullshit, and so I know that a lot of my fans get that and understand it, and you still ride horses because you love to ride horses, and that's who I'm here for. That's, I don't make any money on Dressage Hub. I am here to support those of you who still ride because you love your horses, and that, at the end of the day, is why we're here. So, um, it's time for rodeo. Uh, I guess <laughs> get your plane tickets ready. We're going to 
Fine. We're going to Kentucky, I guess. I, I don't even know how what happens next, but I will keep you posted. I did reach out to Safe Sport um, to see what their um, outlook is on the media, what they want to try and control, and I suspect that they're going to say there's nothing involved here because the second letter wasn't under the guise of Safe Sport. So that's where we're at. I'm happy to answer any of your questions. I may do a follow-up video with the questions. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm inciting discussion again. Damn me. Damn it all, Dressage Hub. All right, you guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching this long. Um, I'll be back soon with more info on uh, the craziness that is USAF.